Okay. Hello, Abram. I have a question about uh, my source, and I want to talk about the uniqueness of my source because um, I was listening. I'm, I was listening to your videos on YouTube, and for like it's like every day the past three months, and I studied the books for the last couple of years, and I'm really like kind of. I don't want to say addicted to it, but like, <laughs> I love it so much. And I did like, probably like a couple of hundred focus with the last month and I meditate and do all that. The thing is, I want to, tr I trust your teachings more than I trust myself. Then you have not heard our teachings. Okay. Um, Tricky. Because our teachings, our teachings, yeah. we'll give you the basis of our teachings. Yeah. You were source energy. You've come into this physical body. You've created a vortex that is you. When you come into vibrational alignment with that, then the whole of you is present in this moment in time. And it's a productive, satisfying, good feeling, joyous moment. That's it. That's all we've got. That's all we've got. In other words, that's it. I think it's more related to um, like what I understand. In other words, if you say, I trust what you say more than I trust myself, yeah. then we say, then you haven't heard what we've said. Because what we're saying is tr trusting self. What, what is the feeling of trust? We're going to hear you out fully, but let's just, okay. let's just smooth this out here. Yeah. When you say trust, use more words. What does trust mean and feel like? Confidence, faith. Um, it feels like... Okay. And so confidence, confidence. we're going to say confidence, alignment, faith, alignment, love, alignment. In other words... So trust, what the very word trust, what the very word trust means is I'm vibrationally compatible with the whole of who I am. So if you use the word without, so the word trust, does the word trust feel different to you than the word confident? Yeah. So we want you, we, we would so much rather you have confidence than trust. Yeah. Does the word, does the word love feel different to you than trust? Yeah. We would so much rather that you be in a moment where you're feeling love. How about appreciation? Appreciation feels different than trust too, doesn't it? Yeah. And so what we're saying to you is when you reach for feelings like yeah. love and appreciation and, and confidence, then you can trust that you're there. Yeah. And that, that, that's, that's how you know you're there. The good thing is that I understand the difference between the, the words, the confidence, the, I feel the difference between it. Yes, you do. And what I wanted to say is our, our, it was related to, I understand that you speak with the vocabulary of Esther's, right? Is that kind of truthful? And we, we offer blocks of thought to Esther and over a rather long period of time, she has found words, words yeah. that to her mean what we know. So it's a sort of blending of our knowing and words that it, it's sort of like the difference between trust and confidence, isn't it? Yeah. And what I want to say is I really love Esther really much for doing that. The thing is my, kind of me, I don't want to say my generation, but I use different words, but I think it's not about the words. It's about the energy behind the words, Good. if that's right. Good. So pick some words and give, we'll take time here. Give us some words and we will tell you the vibrational variance or alignment in them. In other words, what, what, what word is on your mind when you make that statement? Okay. For example, I make music. Say again? And I make music. Yes. Um, well, music, music, music. Yeah, I love music. Music, music is music word. is pure vibration, pure knowledge conveyed from one to another with without words. Yeah, that's what music is. And um, I rap, so it's like hip hop. Yes. And <laughs> I know why they laugh because they know I use cuss words too. 
the thing is, I feel like people might judge it, but the thing is, I feel like the intention behind it is more important. And the cuss words, when I use them, for some people, there's a different, I don't know if ever anybody was sitting here and was using the word. Like when you say, I, I hear you talk and you say, for example, I don't give a rip what other people think about me. Well, with all respect, I would say, I don't give a f what other people think about me. <laughs> and, but the thing is, there's no bad intention behind it. Like even when I rap, I want to bring like fun, witty stuff and like things that like, I don't know, it's, it's, and I feel like if I don't, but then it's like this voice in my head, Abraham would never say this. <laughs> so what are you doing? But then there's this, I feel like well, either it's this inner source. Here's or... the thing, here's the thing. First of all, first of all, it doesn't matter whether Abraham would say yeah. it or not because it you're right it is the vibrational intention behind it this is something to be mindful about this is something to give a fuck about yeah <laughs> apparently 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 we have stumbled on a very powerful word. <laughs> this is something to be mindful about. Yeah. It's not so important what words are used. What matters is that you know whether you are empowered from inside the vortex as you speak them or whether you're disempowered from outside the vortex. Now, one of the things that is really important as we visit with you, and we know you are aware of this, just relax. We're going to get right to the heart of this easily. When, when we visit with you, much, much of the conversation that we are, we are aware of or that we are shining a spotlight on is that in knowing what you don't want, that's how you give birth to what you do want. And so even in much of the rap that stands in the attitude of protest, there is a lot of birthing of, of desire. It's a movement that is asking with rhythm and clarity for all kinds of things. So the only thing that we would be sure that we did if we were rapping to a world that is benefiting <laughs> from it is that we would be sure that, that we would at least give equal time in our rap from inside the vortex in other words speak your protest in other words everyone even in movies or uh, uh, most everything that is written they understand that there's a value in pointing out the question before you give the answer pointing out the problem before you give the solution so for the sake of your alignment with source much that will flow through you will come through that alignment we've never known anyone who rapped and we know all of them we've intimately we've never known anyone who rapped who was really good and really successful and really in rhythm and really hitting the marks and really moving the crowd who wasn't in the vortex while they're doing the rap and the words that are spoken are irrelevant yeah. Yeah. so how can I trust myself when I make because uh, use... you can feel when you flow you can feel when you're flowing and you can feel when you're not. And it's not about taking a bunch of lyrics and memorizing yeah. them. When it flows, you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on, and you know it. And, and when it feels good and the words are relevant. And, well, and, and the, the irrelevant words become more relevant as you speak them. But yeah. don't you love it when you get tuned in all full of yourself? It, it's, the, it's not different than the basketball player who's in the zone, whose coordination and strength and uh, awareness of where the basket is in relationship to where he is, no matter where he is, whether he's on the ground or whether he's in the air. In other words, these are, these are not things that are even physically possible without the awareness and the alignment of that broader perspective there is so much that happens that falls in the category of what you would call your physics of your world that that you are only able to accomplish because of your alignment with source and what happens in a verbal context or in a musical context is certainly no different in fact it is the most emphatic demonstration of alignment that exists on the planet today yes he's uh, ringing our bell here you feel satisfied? I have one last question. Oh. Is that cool? 
Yeah. We'll begin with you when we come back Thank from so segment much. of refreshment. Good time for lunch. <laughs> <laughs>